Good morning, friends. Today we're gonna be learning Unit 7, Lesson 10. It's green time, and for green warm-up, we are going to play a game, copy and do. I am gonna do something, and you guys are gonna copy me. I'm not gonna give any verbal, that means talking, I'm not gonna give you any verbal directions, you just are gonna watch with your eyes and then do. All right, one, two, three. Nice work, friends. In this part of green, we are going to be working on what we've been doing for the last yesterday and last week. When we say the beginning and the ending of the words and we put them together, the two sounds and we put them together. Today though, Mr. Lion is gonna help us, but I don't see Mr. Lion, can you guys call him? Mr. Lion, oh, Mr. Lion, we couldn't even finish calling you. Oh, I'm so happy to be here, I'm so happy to be here. Mr. Lion, we're excited too. Are you guys excited to see Mr. Lion? All right, so I think that Mr. Lion is still forgetting to say uh, all of his words. So can you guys help him? All right, Mr. Lion, say Ray. A. Can you guys help him? Er, A. Mr. Lion, you forgot the er sound. Mr. Lion, can you say T, E? What did he forget? T, E, T. Mr. Lion, you forgot the T sound. Mr. Lion, can you say he, E? What sound did he forget? <sighs> yeah. Mr. Lion, can you say B, E? What sound did he forget? B, B, E, B. Mr. Lion, the last one. Say, say, A. Did you guys hear what sound he forgot in the word say? S, A, say. Mr. Lion only said A. S, yeah, he forgot this sound. Can you guys tell Mr. Lion thank you? Bye, friends. Yesterday with our finger play, we sang Old MacDonald Had a Farm. And do you guys remember which animal we used? Yeah, the chicks. Today we are going to use pigs. What sound do pigs make? Oink, oink. Let's sing the song. Old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. And on his farm he had some pigs. E-I-E-I-O, with an oink oink here and an oink oink there, here an oink there and oink everywhere and oink oink, old MacDonald had a farm, E-I-E-I-O. Tomorrow, we'll sing another verse with a new animal. What other animals are on the farm that we could use? We'll have to wait and find out. In this part of green, you guys can get a piece of paper and a pencil. And on one side of the paper, you can write the letter J. And on the other side of the paper, write a letter X. If you need help, ask your parents. It's okay to ask for help. So pause the video and then come back after you have a piece of paper with these two letters on them. All right. I am going to say words, and if the word has the x sound, you guys are gonna point to your x. If the word has the j sound, you guys are gonna point to the j. Do you guys remember what sound x makes? X. This is the way Mr. X exits, Mr. X exits, Mr. X exits. This is the way Mr. X exits, x, 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 x and J. This is the way the little girl jumps, the little girl jumps, the little girl jumps. This is the way the little girl jumps, J, 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 J. All right, the first word is join, join. That's right, J. The next word is ax, 
Yes, X. Juice. Fix. Six. And the last word, job. Nice work. You guys listened to see if the word had the J sound or the X sound. All right, so we're going to review the sight words and the cards for the Rebus picture book. This is the sight word. The. This is the new one. With. And. Are. And our picture cards. Cows, farmer, and ducks. Can you read this sentence? The cows. What about this one? Are with the farmer. What if I switch this with this? Are with the ducks. Now what does this say? The ducks. You guys read all of the sentences. Good morning, friends. It's awesome to see you. Take a big breath in. Let it out. Let's twist around. Keep your legs still and twist the top half of you. Try to look at your back. Great. Unwind, twist the other way. So let's stretch out our backs even more. Let's come on to hands and knees. I remember the other week we thought about stretching like a cat. You remember, bring your back way up. But then cow is the opposite. You can swoop your back under like a cow. Try it again. Cat and cow. Good. Now make your back flat and imagine your cow tail is swinging over one way and try to reach your head towards your tail. That's an awesome stretch. Swing your cow tail the other way and reach your head toward it. Fabulous. Tuck your toes and come to standing. Do you know what a baby cow is called? It's called a calf. Now this is kind of funny. Did you know that humans have calves on their body? <laughs> Not a baby cow. A calf is a muscle that we all have. Here's our calf muscle, this nice muscle right here. Maybe you could touch your other calf. We can do things to strengthen our calves, like releve, bring your hands to your hips and stand up nice and tall and rise up to the tips of your toes. Releve, and down, keep your legs nice and straight. Releve, and down. Now we know that cows generally move kind of slow and humans can move slow, but we could also imagine that we're disco cows and we can move fast. So let's practice moving slow and fast. Okay, get ready. Just move slow however you like in your space. Slow.
it's red time and red time is story time. Today, I'm going to read a poem. This poem doesn't have any pictures. The poet, remember that's the person that writes the poems, the poet is Stephanie Clamenson. The title of this poem is called, Who Said Moo? What type of animal says moo? Yeah, so what do you think this poem might be about? It could be, let's read and find out. I went to the farm when I was two, and on that farm, I heard moo. Who said moo? Horse, did you? No way, horse said nay. Who said moo? Lamb, did you? No, ha <laughs> ha, lamb said ba. Who said moo? Cat, did you? He didn't know how, cat said meow. Who said moo? Dog, did you? That would be tough, dog says ruff. Who said moo? Hen, did you? No such luck, hen said cluck. I was feeling so sad, I wanted to cry when a black and white cow came walking by. Do you know what she said? I think you do, let's say it together. The cow said, moo. What kinds of animals were mentioned in this poem? A horse, yep, a cat, a dog, a hen, there were quite a few. What sounds did they make? And did you guys hear any rhyming words? I went to a farm when I was two. And on that farm, I heard moo, two, moo, rhyme. It's blue time, which means it's almost time to say goodbye. Today for blue, you guys are gonna draw another picture of a barn and you guys are going to cut some more animals out of this paper. Today, you guys are going to cut five cows from this paper and glue them into your barn. Save this because tomorrow we're gonna put our book together. On the bottom, it says there are blank in the barn. What are you guys putting in the barn? Cows, what do cows say? Moo. And how many cows am I asking you to put in here? That's right, five. There are five cows in the barn. Bye friends, see you tomorrow.